Grace Kitchens, in association with the Culinary Federation of Jamaica, presents the Chef's Invitational Challenge on Creative Cooking. Eight chefs, one goal, to create the most exciting new recipes using Grace Convenience Foods and local produce, and to be the top chef of the challenge. Now, meet today's chefs and your host, Macy Miller. Hello, let's introduce you to today's challengers. On my left is Chef Glendon Foster, and I'm presently working at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel. Thank you very much. And on my right is Chef Carl Thomas, Lillian's Restaurant, University of Technology, Jamaica. Okay. Chef Glendon Foster, what are you preparing for us? Today I'm going to do a grilled salmon with a vegetable herb chef beef, beef, beef flavored ravioli. Mm -hmm. And also I'll be doing some snow peas and cherry tomato for vegetable and a tomato ketchup, uh, coconut milk, vodka sauce. Chef Thomas, what are, uh, what are you making for us today? Well, um, the dishes I'm doing today, I call it um, bundle of joy. I'm gonna be using a uh, fillet of snapper and stuffing it with uh, grace mackerel, mashed potatoes. On Tuesday, the two challengers completed their recipes. Now, here's a recap of their presentations. The basic rules of the contest require the chefs to prepare innovative, consumer-friendly dishes that utilize Grace Convenience Foods along with local produce. The top chef in the challenge will receive $50,000 and the Creative Cooking Chef's Challenge Trophy. The runner-up will receive $30,000 and a trophy. The judges will be assessing the dishes for creative use of Grace products and local produce, taste, originality, presentation, and kitchen organization. Of the total 100 points, taste is the most important with an allocation of 35 points. You have five minutes left to plate and present the dishes to the judges. Five, four, time is up. Please stop working. Let us now introduce you to our panel of judges. We have Mrs. Paulette Roden, a certified professional chef and a director of Crimson Dawn Limited. We have Mr. Steve Saw, the executive chef at Half Moon Hotel and the vice president of the Culinary Federation of Jamaica. And we have Dr. Janet Dyer, the CEO of the Runaway Bay Heart Hotel and Training Institute. Chef Carl's recipe had many components, which called for a very precise use of time. He started by boiling his sweet potatoes. Then he diced the Irish potatoes. He processed some garlic and onions and put red wine to reduce to make his sauce. He prepared the fish fillets. They were butterflied to accommodate the potato and mackerel stuffing. The Grace Jack mackerel came in for special treatment. He sautéed the mackerel with processed garlic and onions to enhance the flavor. Vegetables were blanched and drained. A feature of his dish was the use of Grace Gungo peas, which was sautéed with seasonings and later added to the sweet potato. An elegant touch was to flambé seasonings, including onion and saffron, to which he then added a little heavy cream and grace coconut milk. The sweet potato was riced to achieve a more tender quality. Another feature was his use of potato strings. The fish fillets were stuffed with potato and grace jack mackerel, then wrapped with the potato strings and pan-fried golden brown. His final touch was plantain, thinly sliced and fried. Chef Glendon created a very ambitious recipe. He started by putting sweet potatoes to boil. Then he proceeded to make his tomato and coconut cream vodka sauce. Grace tomato ketchup was a key ingredient of the sauce to provide the desired flavor. Meantime, he went to work to produce the Vegemins beef ravioli. After rehydration of the Grace Earth Chef Vegemins, he added seasonings as well as Grace whole kernel corn. The batter for the ravioli required special attention 
in order to ensure the right consistency. The seasoned vegemins was later placed on the batter, which was folded over and cut to size. An interesting feature of Chef Glendon's dish was the use of potato powder. He completed the potatoes with the addition of milk before shaping and pan searing. The salmon fillets to complete the dish were grilled. The judges have tasted the dishes and now it's their turn to give the verdict. Good work, um, gentlemen. But for both of you, there was a missing link. Chef Thomas, I didn't see your hand bits. And I was so looking for the ravioli from you, um, <laughs> Chef Foster. Mashed potatoes with gungo peas. That was very good. The flambe technique. Wow. Was I, I was looking around if there was anyone here who was going to run for an extinguisher. But um, it added um, some value to the whole presentation. Towards the end, I saw both of you Thank racing you. against the clock. Well, you had the time, but you were racing against yourself just to be finished in time. Chefs, well done, both of you. I thought, you. Um, looking at your recipes beforehand, that you, you both actually had a lot of components on, on mm -hmm. the plate and a lot of work to do. And I congratulate you for finishing in time, although mm -hmm. you both missed an element off. Um, you both worked extremely clean in the kitchen and very quick, very organized, uh, very well done. Um, unfortunately, Glendon, what happened with your ravioli? Um, that was the most interesting component. Yeah, for me, that was my favorite also. But when, when I, I put the filling in, because of the time that we spoke about before, the dough didn't come together as I wanted to. Okay. So when I, I put the, the, when I tried to cut it, it wouldn't hold. Yeah, so I, I, instead of wasting time on that, I just put it aside and tried to okay. get it finished. The snow peas were cooked nice, the, the cherry tomatoes were cooked nice, but it, it all Oily. lacked a little bit of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, Chef Carl, good plate, um, apart from the bacon bits, or ham bits, sorry. Um, good, good technique with, uh, with, the, with the stuffing the fish and wrapping it with the potatoes. Um, came out very well. Good flavor and nice, nice way to use um, the mackerel inside the fish. It was very good. Chef Carl, your planting was a good uh, for the presentation, but it was a bit oily and not crisp, as it should have been. You used the products well. Uh, your, your taste, presentation of your, your platter was very good in flavor, and the sweet potatoes were good, and the balsam sauce was also very good. Um, your color presentation, I thought, was very vibrant. Uh, and as Dr. Dyer said, the flambe was an added attraction, which was good. The salmon was cooked, but it had no flavor at all. Maybe in a recipe like that, it would be good to maybe add a little jerk sauce or something, or a little ginger, minced ginger. You needed something to bring the salmon up, because salmon is a very bland fish. Both of you panicked a little bit against the time again, but otherwise the effort was well done. The judges have tallied the points and the winner of the challenge is Chef Carl, Chef Carl Thomas. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Next week, Tuesday evening, two chefs will take up the challenge in the semi-final round. Till then, on behalf of the chefs and the judges, we thank you so much for watching. Grace Kitchens, in association with the Culinary Federation of Jamaica, presents the Chef's Invitational Challenge on Creative Cooking. Taking Grace Convenience Foods to a new level. Who will be the top chef of the challenge? Join CVM TV for Creative Cooking every Tuesday and Friday at 7.50 p.m.